Now the steering wheel is just like right in my face here, but hey guys, what's going on? What's, what's new? Uh, you haven't seen my face for like a month. Um, so sorry about that. I decided to do a little vlog today because I'm running some errands and I'm not sure how exciting it's going to be, but I figured I'd make a little, uh, chit chat update vlog for you guys because I haven't made a video in like a month. So anyway, I am starting at a salon on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. So I'm getting my keys for the salon right now. And I'm going to set up um, with all of like my color and tools and stuff later in the day. I'm going to meet my friend Yasmin at um, Cosmoprof, which is like a beauty supply store for licensed cosmetologists or licensed hairstylists because um, I have to make a color order for the salon. I'm doing um, a booth rental in a salon, which is my first booth rental, so I'm nervous and excited at the same time. Um, I'm more, more excited. I'm really excited. So I'm just gonna have a lot more flexibility and I do supply um, my own color and everything like that. So it's definitely more of like a business ownership um, rather than working for somebody. I work for myself, so it's gonna be very fun, but I have to get a lot of stuff to prepare before Sunday. I don't know if I re really even ever mentioned this, but I was working for Ulta again. I was a prestige manager there, so I was managing all of like the high-end makeup that was there, which was awesome. There was a lot of parts of that job that I really, really liked, but I am first and foremost a hairstylist, and I was working at Ulta full-time, so I didn't really have any time. I didn't have any time at all to be doing hair, so I just didn't feel like myself. So I'm excited to go back to doing hair. Speaking of that, if anybody who watches my videos is in the Denver area, my salon is in Denver. So I will leave some information down below or you can go to my Instagram, which is it's Aspen Ray. And um, all of my salon info, my email, all my contact information is on there to schedule appointments. It might not be super exciting vlog, but I figured I would just catch you guys up and make a video since I've been slacking. Come on, people. Sorry, I apologize. Okay, there's been like a billion people who moved to Denver um, in the last like year and a half, two years. I used to live in California, so no uh, disrespect on Californians, but we've had a lot of Californians moving here. Speaking of, the person in front of me has a California license plate. You know if you live in California, people drive like crazy, and you start to drive like crazy just to, you know, be, uh, not get killed on the highways. But now, these Denver highways, I'm so not used to being like LA highways, are crazy. People, like, people come into, come in hot on the freeway from merge lanes and think that everyone just needs to move over for them, and that's not how it works, people. My boyfriend and I moved back to Denver because there was a million people who lived there and the traffic was terrible and the cost of living was super expensive. Now, Denver is like, the cost of living is basically neck and neck with LA. Um, I can actually find some cheaper places at in nicer areas Street and Broadway. in California than I can here now. Anyway, I'm ranting. <laughs> I pray to make it back in one piece. I pray, I pray. That's why I need a witness. Got a Hennessy in my hand. One more time for I go. I have powers taking a hold on me.
radio station, KPTT Denver. 95.7 The Party is Denver's number one hit music station. Take it slow, but it's not Ow! First of all, I had to take my ponytail out because I have the worst headache ever. Second of all, I just almost saw a murder happen because this giant semi-truck almost just killed this lady. Over into the lane with her right there, and she had to slam on her brakes on the highway. Oh boy, it's 45 degrees today. It looks like the sun might be coming out. It's been really strange in Colorado. The weather has been just super strange. I don't understand what's going on with it. Oh, that's my exit. That's my exit. I have to pee, and I'm also starving. Boop, 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 boop. I'm not 100% sure where this is. This is <laughs> I toned my hair and I spray tanned last night, so I had my hair up because I thought that my hair was too, like, white looking for how uh, orange looking <laughs> my body was. <laughs> I have to pee so bad and I continue to drink this Red Bull. Woo, woo -hoo. Oh, I want to start doing um, more hair videos and I want to continue a series called Hair Talk. Um, my most viewed video is me talking about um, things that you need to do before considering dyeing your own hair. They get questions on that video constantly, so I was thinking about doing a hair talk series where I was either taking questions from the comment section in that video or um, you know every every week or every other week doing something on Instagram or on Twitter and asking you guys I think it's right here um, and getting questions from you guys involving hair I don't know how often I will be doing the hair talk videos maybe like once a month I really want to start taking my when I start at this new salon on Sunday, I wanna start taking my camera in and kind of vlogging um, what I'm doing in the salon. Let me know what you guys think because I know as of yet, it's my channel has been more focused towards makeup tutorials and I wanna know what you guys think about me doing more hair involved videos. I don't wanna do all just me in the salon because I feel like, um, a lot of that would be directed towards other hairstylists. So if you're not a hairstylist, I still want you to be able to like enjoy and participate in my videos. So that's why having the hair talk in there would be fun because then I can interact with you guys and answer some questions that you have regarding your hair, whether it's like cutting, coloring, styling. Let me know what you guys think about that. I will probably end up taking questions from Instagram for the hair talk videos so I'll figure out a topic for every month and then I will post it on my Instagram and have you guys question in the comment section so make sure that you're following me on my social media accounts I'll link them down below but on Instagram is where I'm most active I'm not super active on Twitter my friend and I are going in here to do or to get some tickets for their hair show next week and then I'm super excited about that and then um, I need to buy a lot of hair colors I didn't have money for marketing, uh, so what I used to do is I used to take mannequins and I would um, built in shoulder pads with three new ones in our demi. So we have both permanent and demi in our new Vero K-Pack line, and I mixed it with beige. Beige is kind of like my clear. Um, it's kind of you buy anywhere between three to a thousand dollars. Since you decided to go to towards me. And what that's going to allow me to do is to over direct one side and create motion in the hair. If you just bring it out. Name a designer in hair, fashion week. She's in Gucci. And um, Elle on that page did all favorites of. And it just
we're doing it.